and then people started posting pictures of the beer that they made and they felt proud about it. Please go check out rebelstoreza.com. Their winter range is now available. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Moments. Real Moments are sections from longer interviews done on my channel that I think you guys might find interesting. Your Real Moment is in. What all of us felt was maybe a crisis, and you found opportunity in. Tell us about how Burbir came to be. So the first lockdown obviously happened, and it was just ridiculous for me that the government can tell people they're not allowed to drink anymore. And I understand that there, there is problems in South Africa when it comes to alcohol consumption and that, but you can't punish everyone for uh, what little or few does. Yeah. And it was just not fair. And I was really craving beer and we, we've made our own beer before. And uh, I saw all the people basically importing the liquid malt extract, which is what that's boiled down. It's they boil it down. So it's a, a kilo, it weighs about a kilo and then it's imported and people get it wrong. So you still have to um, boil a lot of water, the dilution, people don't get all that right. And it came out flops and we all saw all the pineapple drinks. And I said, no, let's just help people and find a way to um, get all of that out of the way and just make it simple for beginners that anyone uh, can start making and uh, as affordable as possible because everyone is already feeling the pinch with this uh, lockdowns and a lot of people lost incomes and all that. So we tried to make a way for uh, beginners uh, to 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 um, make beer easily. While I have you here, why don't you please go down in the description below and check out support my channel where you can support me for as little as 40 rand a month. And also you get some perks, but you got to use the quicket link to get access to these perks. Again, links in the description below. And don't forget, subscribing is always free. At home and make quality beer. And I was also thinking with the first one, a lot of people bought buckets. So they already have the buckets. So let's just give them a quality recipe that they can make at home because they already spent the money on the buckets. But little did we know that we actually sold more of the starter kits and we got more people into home brewing. We sold thousands and thousands and thousands of, of beer kits and we shipped all over the uh, South Africa. We even got requests from people overseas that wants to try nice. their beer, but it's just too, too expensive and too impossible to ship something that's in a pop sock. I'm not sure what in English, what do you call that? But that's that silver bags. Yeah, yeah. We, we package it in that and then it's wrapped in a box and it's, it's, it's quite fragile and it's challenging the e-commerce business. It's not an easy business and uh, customer support is a very important element of this. And in the lockdown, so the, 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 uh, we started actually after the, the first alcohol ban and people liked it. And, uh, there was a hype around it, but as soon as people tasted it, it was word of mouth. They told their friends they had price, and then people started posting pictures of the beer that they made, and they felt proud about it. And we just kept sharing. So the users or the the consumers basically made our content for us on social media, and we just kept on sharing that. And a lot of people started hearing about it, and as soon as they tasted it, they understood. And uh, Steve uh, Hofmeyer was also a big part of this. He really put us on the map with promoting it and we didn't give him anything for it we just gave him a kit because we i knew him and uh he really gave his honest opinion and he actually made a video for another uh, person who actually imports it's like a barbecue system a stove or something like that and he he, he did a promotional video for them where they make that chicken with the beer that you put the beer in the, in the chicken and he actually used our beer and he wore a t-shirt and as soon as he tasted the beer, or he, I have tasted it before, but he, as soon as he, before he took a sip, he told the people, yeah, for Stani, which in, in English it means you don't understand how yeah. good this is. But he just said that and it basically became our slogan. And that video went viral. It got like 600,000 views on his Facebook wow. page. And yeah, then uh, the second alcohol ban came and then it was craziness. But I'm actually happy that we didn't start out in an alcohol ban because we would have failed. It would have been too much orders and we would have never be able to deliver to the people. And mm -hmm. you get a bad reputation just like that. There's a meme or a thing that I saw 
which is very true when they say a big company like McDonald's can screw up your order 10,000 times, but you will always go back to them. But a small business makes one mistake and you will really, you will crucify them for that and you will yeah. bad out them. So it is true like that. There's very high standards and you have to keep your customers happy because it's them at the end of the day who's making this big and who is promoting this for you and who is supporting you each and every month. We, our return rate is very good. We got like very, uh, insightful uh, analytics from the back end when we saw that our return rate was crazy the people like every second person that bought a starter kit returned and bought more of the world the refill and then when you have all that stuff in place it actually is cheap it works out to 10 rand a beer but ours mm -hmm. is different because it's made locally so it employs local and uh, yeah it's it's locally made and it's fresh weekly we brew weekly. So our board production is at a very nice level now. It's a well-oiled machine now. So the last year we really learned from, we were thrown into the deep end. We got so much orders and feedback from customers and we just improved on that. And yeah, that's what's basically started all of this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was your real moment. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please feel free to share it with your friends, family, or whoever you think might find it interesting. Give the video a like. It goes a long way to supporting the channel and helping it grow. And this is your second reminder to please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. And please go check out the Telegram channel. It's a channel, not a group. You just get notified of all the upcoming uploads and live streams on this channel. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.